This is the day the Lord has made. We want to welcome you to a special edition of our Sunday morning service with Elder Gregory Reinhardt, pastor of Solid Rock Full Gospel Baptist Church Ministries International. Please feel free to share today's broadcast with as many people as you know. Also, feel free to comment if you get encouraged, blessed, or stirred up as you hear the Word of God. And use the emojis at any time to get our online activity to be heard throughout our time. If you're watching YouTube Live, display us on your smart TV for your entire family to watch. But now, let's get into this power-packed message. Praise the Lord, believers. I'm Pastor Gregory Reinhardt from the Solomon Full Gospel Baptist Church here in Capitol Heights, Maryland, where we love God, love people, and we especially love you. We want to invite you to for our Facebook Live at 10 o'clock on Sunday mornings, every Sunday morning, where the power of God is moving. Don't miss it. God will bless you when you tune in to us. I believe God going to have his way each and every Sunday. We may be distant, away from each other, cannot come together, but God is with us. So I want to invite you to tune in to Salara, where God is God and Jesus is Lord. God bless you. And I will not be inside. I will always worship you. As long as I am breathing, I will always worship you. Daily I shall worship thee. Slam of God who died for me, who To worship you. 
So we thank you, Lord, for this day, which you have made, and we rejoice in it, and we'll be glad. And we thank you, Lord, for how you have blessed the people of God everywhere. We pray, God, that this message might be edified and uplifting to the people's souls in the name of the Lord. We pray that you might strengthen their hearts, strengthen their loved ones, heal their hearts, heal their souls. In Jesus' name we pray. And Father, we ever give your name the glory, and we thank you, our souls. Say amen. Amen. We give God praise today. We thank God for his love and his kindness and all of what he's doing. Amen. We thank God for this day which he has made. Amen. I want to let you know that I love you, and God loves you too, and we appreciate you tuning in with us as, as from Solomon for Gospel at the Church, as the Lord has continued to bless us and continue to bless you. We pray that you have a wonderful, wonderful Mother's Day and enjoy your mothers. Amen. To your mothers, we love you and we appreciate you. We go right to the word of God. Amen. We're very familiar word. Amen. Amen. Uh, you find us in one verse, Ephesians 3 and 20. And the word of God says, Now unto him that is able, hallelujah, to do exceeding abundantly, above all we act or think according to the power that worketh in us. Amen. We pray that God might bless his word. Amen. That we inspire your heart. Amen. In spite of what the global pandemic, I want to personally, personally wish Happy Mother's Day to all our mothers, our mothers-to-be in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. We pray that you might have a great and wonderful day today. This is the day when our children express their love to you in many different ways. I am sure even every one of us, what every one of our children, if given the opportunity, would speak generously of our abundance devotion to family. 
your constant care for your loved ones, and your unearning commitment, hallelujah, to the same. Mothers, you are full of wisdom. Amen. Even fathers know that. That's why, hallelujah, amen. That's why they always say, go ask your mother. Amen. That's going to be my subject today, go ask your mother. Amen. See, mothers are different from fathers, and I can attest to that. Amen. Amen. Mothers are nurturers, uh, and while fathers are providers. Mothers sow seed of development of their children, while fathers provide the means to their family substance. A joy in this 21 century, there is a lot of woe flopping going on. Mothers are bringing home the bacon and frying it up in the pan. Amen. And fathers who assure the role of caregiving and cooking. Amen. Amen. I can attest to that. Amen. But mothers, God's giving, nurturing instinct flourish in her role as a matriarch of the household. Amen. 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 When it comes to her children, Christian mothers and Christian moms has an abundance of gifts. And at the top of the, of the list are patience and long-suffering, amen, determination, perseverance. While fathers may throw up their hands, hallelujah, in the, in, in, in the complete uh, frustration, moms is more likely to be on their knees praying, hallelujah, refusing to give up on John, refusing to give up on Sally, amen. Mom is always praying and believing God because I see that you're not going to be that way. You're not going to do that. I'm going to pray and believe God, hallelujah, that you're going to come through. You always see mom most likely on their knees praying and refusing to give up on that child. Yes. So to all you mothers who have, have burned the midnight oil praying for a miracle, I want to say thank you. Yes. I want to thank my mother for praying for me. I'm so glad that when I was young, I did something that was not pleasing to God. She kept on praying for me. When I was acting up and I was doing things that I thought I was big enough and bad to do, Mama saw something in me, so she started praying for me. Thank you, Mama, for praying for me. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I thank God. Amen. You ought to thank God for your mother. Yes. Amen. That she prayed for you. Amen. Amen. And when it comes to her children, Christian mom always has an abundance of gifts. Yes. And at the top of the list, like I said, is patient and long-suffering. See, Christian mom do their best to, to reflect God's abundance. Amen. They certainly reflect uh, this, they, they certainly reflect his abundance grace. Every child under the sound of my voice today can attest that mom's unmerited faith. Yes. Hallelujah. Her, her unmerited favor. My, but God's, God's abundance goes beyond her or his abundant, her, his um, merited favor. From his vest, from his vase inventory's abundance, God alone can grant fullness of his favor. That's why mothers pray so much. Yes. Amen. They understand the abundance comes from God. God's abundant grace and his promise of abundance life and abundance joy are just the beginning of what we receive from him. Hallelujah. Yes. Today I want to focus on three practical, three a practical elements of God's abundance. Amen, amen, with your mother's permission. First, there's God's abundant pardon. Mother will tell you that while she may forgive your mistakes and your slippers, only God can forgive you your sins yes. and save your soul. Yes. The Bible tells us in Isaiah, Isaiah put it like this. He said, let the wicked forsake his way. 
and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and, and let him re to return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy yeah. upon him, yeah. and to our God, and he will abundantly pardon, and God will forgive you. See, my beloved, God has abundant forgiveness. Thank you, Jesus. His forgiveness never runs out. Woo! Glory to God. Uh, amen. His word abundant does not even come close to describing how much forgiveness God possesses. As long as you can say, I'm sorry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He sees a genuine a repentant heart. He will forgive you. Hallelujah. Amen. Not only he forgive you one time, but he'll forgive you two times. You do it the third time, he'll forgive you the third time. He forgive time after time after time again. I'm so glad that we serve a God that forgives. Hallelujah. Forgives you when you mess up. He forgives you. There's no reason for it. There's a reason for his generosity. It starts at Calvary. Hallelujah. Where he laid his bed, his only begotten son on the cross to pay the price for our sins of the world. For that time forth you may, you, me, or anyone who have confessed his sins. Amen and claim Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. He received God's abundance pardon. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, I don't, it doesn't matter how many times you slipped up. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter how many times you screwed up. God will forgive you. Hallelujah. You have, you may have lied amen about where you were last night. God will forgive you. You may have stolen something from the supermarket. God will forgive you. You may have cheated on your spouse. Hallelujah. God God will forgive you. You may have gossip about somebody. You may have gossip about your neighbor next door. God will forgive you. I mean, you 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 have cheated on your income tax. You may have cheated on your income taxes. God will forgive you. Hallelujah. You may have you may have you may have given God a tip instead of giving God his tithes. Hallelujah. God will forgive. God God will forgive you as long as you are sorry. As long as you have a repentant heart, God will forgive you. If you don't believe me, ask mama. Hallelujah. Ask your mother. Amen. Mama tell you that. that second thing, God's abundant power. There is no power like God's power. His power can energize you. His yes. power can strengthen you. His power can motivate you. Amen. His power can energize us and fuel us with renewed strength. That's why the Bible tells us in Colossians 1 and 11 say that we are strengthened with all might. Hallelujah according to his glorious power unto all patience and long suffering with joy for this and to consider how great a challenge life can be that some power there's power in amen have you ever gone through something hallelujah I'm a witness have you ever gone through something yes. and you wonder if you would ever make it through yes. hallelujah you did uh, amen that was God's power yes. hallelujah can I stop here and park here for a few minutes I want to let you know amen God will give you strength yes. and God will give you power to make it through any situation to make it through any circumstances all you have to do is just rely on him. Hallelujah. Have you ever been, amen, in a mess of your own mistake and wonder if you can ever outline them, but you did. That's God's power. Amen. Hey, God can turn your pathetic into prosperity. Amen. God can turn your stupid into special. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God can turn your guilty into great. Hallelujah. God can turn 
tear your ignorance into intelligence. God can tear your insane into influence. Oh, glory to God. God can turn your confusion, amen, your confusion into contentment. I want to let you know all you have to do is give it to God and let God do it. God has the power to bring you through anything. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You may have lost your job. You may have lost. You may have been furloughed. Hallelujah. Through this pandemic. But oh God, God will give you power to come through this. Oh glory to God. I'm so glad that we serve a great God. By great faith. Who does great things for us. I'm so glad that I can lead on Jesus. When things don't look good. I'm so glad I can lead. Oh Jesus, oh blessed God, hallelujah, have you ever, did you not know that God will turn crumbs into cake, as there with a woman who had just enough of oil and flour for one more meal, God came through, God gave her power because she believed God, see in order for you to have power, you got to believe God, you got to trust God, you got to depend upon God. God. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Believers, believers, believers. Amen. We sometimes underestimate God's power. See, our finite minds, our finite minds cannot comprehend the depths of, hallelujah, uh, amen, of the, of the things of God, the power of God. If God can take away the hungry lion's appetite from Daniel, he can take away the appetite of uh, liquor. He can take the appetite of beer. Oh, glory to God. Oh, God. If God can tear down the walls of Jericho, he can tear down the walls in your life. But if God can restore the prodigal son inheritance, he can restore your reputation. I know I'm talking to somebody. If God can take the heat out of the fiery furnace, hallelujah, fiery furnace. He can take the heat off of you. All you have to do is keep on looking to the hills which come in my help. For my help coming from the Lord. If God can raise his only begotten son from the dead, oh bless the name of God that same power that raised God, raised Jesus Christ from the dead. He got you have that power. God will use that power to raise you out of your muck and your sins, hallelujah, God will raise you up out of your sorrow. Job said, behold, these are but the outskirts of his way, and how small a whisper do we hear him, but the, none, the thunder of his power can, who can understand, amen. In the word, in other words, we barely recognize God's power, let alone understand it. Hallelujah. Even though it is all around us, it's beyond our understanding. I want to let you know that God will bring you through will bring you through. Uh, oh, bless the name of the Lord. Uh, Jeremiah wants us to recognize and consider what God's power, hey man, has accomplished. Uh, Jeremiah said, it is he who made the earth uh, by his power, who established the world uh, by his wisdom uh, and by his understanding uh, stretch out the heavens. Uh, if God can create in the world, Hallelujah, glory to God. And everything in it, your situation is just a piece of cake. Oh, glory to God. Regardless of how difficult it may seem. Regardless of what others may say. Regardless of what others may do. Regardless of how they act. Regardless of the laws and the customs and the traditions. Regardless of how, how little help you may get from others. God's awesome power is enough to transform your mess and my mess. Hallelujah. Your body 
way into your miracle. You might be suffering respiratorily in your body. Glory to God. God is a healer. Oh, glory to God. God will work a miracle on your behalf. But if you don't believe me, ask mom. Mama tell you, he, she trusted God. When you was on drugs, when you was doing things against God's principle, she kept on praying. She believed God. Oh, glory to God. So as mama, mama tell you, third and finally, um, there's God's abundant peace. His peace, hallelujah. This peace that can only, uh, hallelujah, come from the loving, amen, all-knowing God, all-knowing Father, amen, is the essential ingredients of to a fulfillment uh, for your life and my life. But the Apostle Paul said, Blessed be the God, uh, the peace of God, uh, which passes all understanding, uh, shall keep your hearts uh, and your minds uh, through Christ Jesus. Uh, did you catch it? I hope you did. The key is Jesus Christ. God's power only comes through Christ. This peace is not for comfort that you seek in the bottle or your babe or your booth. It's, this is not temporal, amen, and fleeting. It's a peace, hallelujah, that supersedes all things. Baby, I want to tell you, I want to talk to my wife. I want to let you know that God will give you peace when you don't have strength, when you don't have no hope. Look to Jesus. God going to bring that through. He'll give you peace. Hallelujah. 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 His peace that supersedes all others. It supersedes all cancer. It supersedes all pain. It supersedes when you're broke. It supersedes when you don't have no money and your money is funny. It supersedes it. Oh, blessed name of the Lord. Amen. It's there when the medicine won't work. Oh, glory to God. His peace is there. Amen when the problem won't go away. His peace is there when the storms keep on coming. Oh, glory to God. It's peace. It's peace that calls you to say, God is my refuge and my strength and very present help in trouble. I came to tell you, oh, glory to God. God will give you peace. Yes, he will. Thank you, Jesus. He'll give you peace. Hallelujah. When the doctor tells you and give you report, God will give you peace and let you know that he with you. Oh, glory to God. Yes. Oh, bless your name in the God. Bless the name of the Lord in the eighth chapter. Oh, glory to God. Chapter of Luke. 22 and 25, the disciples were fishing out on the lake with a huge storm captured them, amen, caught them by surprise. The boat was rocking and then taking, amen, on the water. The sail, amen, was unused or useless against the raging wind. And the disciples, amen, they begin to pack. Amen, amen, amen. That's what the devil wanted us to do. Amen. Through this, through, through this pandemic, he want us to panic. But I want to let you know that we have hope in Jesus Christ. Amen, amen. Say to those disciples. Amen. They woke up Jesus who was sleeping in the bottom of the boat. And they said, Master, hallelujah. Master, we are perjuring. Amen. Amen. We, amen. Jesus rebuked the wind 
amen, and the raving water, and amen, and, and, and then instant, it came calm. I came to tell you, when you speak the word of God, speak the word of God over your situation, it had to come subject to the word of God. Oh, God bless the name of the Lord. I give God praise that I'm speaking life over my situation. I'm speaking life over my wife. I'm speaking life in my family. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Too many people are just like those disciples. They wait to the last minute. Amen. Amen. Excuse me. They wait to the last minute. Amen. Trying to call. Amen. On Jesus for help. Amen. They wait till the burden becomes so heavy that they, amen, they're on the verge of a breakdown. Amen. Then they blame God for their predicament. Amen. But notice in Luke gospel that Jesus did not didn't do anything until the disciples came to him. That's why you gotta go to Jesus. Come on and give God praise. Hallelujah. Uh, glory to God. Amen, amen, amen. Uh, amen, he was asleep because he knew he was in control. He was trying to teach them a viable lesson. That's whatever you ask in his name, he will do it. If you don't believe me, just ask my. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. God, <clears throat> God is our mother's abundant resources. Amen. God possesses his abundant pardon. God, she trusted his abundant power and she experienced his abundant peace. God can be your resource for abundant life too. And you don't need your mother's permission. This is one thing you don't have to ask mama. You just have to ask Jesus. Ask him into your heart and into your life. God bless. I hope you was encouraged. I was encouraged today. Amen. Ask Mama. And happy Mother's Day. God bless. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you, Lord, for how you have said and what you have said today. We pray that you might encourage the people and encourage their hearts. God, we pray for people that might come to know the Lord. We pray for souls that are out there that are listening and have heard this word. God, help them to understand that you have the abundance of pardon that you will forgive them. God, let them know that you have the power. And Father, thank God, let them know that you will give them peace and everlasting peace in their hearts and in their lives. In Jesus' name. If you heard the word and it challenged your heart, we want to invite you to Jesus. Jesus said that I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man can come to the Father except by him. If this by only by you confessing you with your mouth, the Lord Jesus, and believing in your heart that God raised Jesus Christ from the dead, you can experience life through Jesus Christ. Jesus came that you and I might have life and that we might have an abundance. I hope this message encouraged, especially you mothers and you fathers and you sisters and you brothers. My love is that God encourage your heart even the more. God bless. Amen. Oh, 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 oh. Do it again.
said, you are my strength. You are my strength. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. Reach as me. Oh, 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 Hope like no other, hope like no other. Reach to me. Reach me. You are my hope. You are my hope. Hope like no other. Hope like no other. Here are many ways to give to Solid Rock during this time. Make checks payable to Solid Rock Full Gospel Baptist Church. Call the church office at 301-499-1001 for credit card payments by phone. The cash app, dollar sign Solid Rock 7711. Giblify, search for Solid Rock, specify your amount, and done. You can also give via PayPal, King JDW Solid Rock FG at Verizon.net. Pastor Reinhardt and the entire leadership want to ensure that we meet the needs of the membership while we are not together in the church building. The elders and ministerial staff will reach out to you as we go through the coronavirus outbreak. We will communicate with you through our electronic platform. If you have any questions, please reach out to a member of the ministerial staff or call the church office. Thank you for joining us today. We pray you were blessed and encouraged by today's broadcast. We are grateful that you chose to join us today for this power-packed message. 
with Elder Gregory Reinhardt. Join us next Sunday for our next broadcast. Please remember, during this time, to be safe, be well, and be blessed.